good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel so t this is part two day three of my classroom setup um i am going in first of all it's 7 20 in the morning i'm going in prepared to finish up one wall um and then if i want to add any other paper wallpaper on any areas i'm hoping to get that done today but in my mind right now i want to put up my last wall and then I would like to start putting up the decor on those walls. So like my, my label or my headings and stuff. Stay tuned, um, I will be updating you guys. And let's see how much we can get done. When I get in there, I will show you guys once again where I left off and what I'm, um, and then I'll show you guys what I got done. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, it is 7.35. Um, I'm gonna just show you what I'm gonna work on and then I'll show you it after. All right, this is the first wall I'm gonna start working on. Right now, there's temporary staples. I'm gonna go up and staple this down, put a border, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's 8 o'clock and it's 8.01 and I'm done with my walls for now. I'm going to push all of my wallpaper and borders to the side. If I choose to add more wallpaper later, I can, but as far as me trying to get this stuff done this week, the minimum for my walls is completed as far as like the paper and the border. So what I'm about to do now is go through my things and get out all of my, um, like my posters that are going to go up on the walls and I'm going to figure out where everything's going to go and then I will update you guys. All right, it is 8.48, and I started up on the side of the room where kind of where I started the wallpaper, but putting things up, trying to see what I like, what I don't like, what else I need to make or print, and I want to show you guys where I'm at. Okay, so it's looking extremely busy for me. I'm going to tell you the things I like and what I don't like. I like this how it looks on the whiteboard um i just temporarily put it down with tape to see how i like it i think i want to buy little rings to create like a little spiral thing um i don't know what i'm gonna do with this this seems like way too much those are the class rules the voice levels and then here are math practices and i kind of want to put math practices up here i'm not sure when i'm gonna do that but this is something that i like and i'm gonna keep and I only put one staple up just so I can try to get everything equal. And I think for not using a ruler, I think I did pretty good. And then I added my banner up here. This is where my students or the class um, data charts are gonna go. At least that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, back here is the student station where I'm just gonna kind of do like a collage of different things. I'm gonna have their table where they'll come in and grab any materials or paper that they need for the day. And then I'm also going to have their affirmation walls right here. I'm going to hang up my little mirror and put up their little um, affirmation quotes. And then over here is going to be student work for both grades. And this is my wall that I still need to add um, to. My floor is looking like this. So things that I need to find spaces for is my 2D and 3D shapes, my place value. Um, that is a math sign that I might put near this. I don't know. I thought about putting this back there or up there. I don't know. I feel like I'm running out of space. And um, this is part of the wall work. I have another sign of wall work that I'm going to print out. The, um, that last one is going to go up there. Kind of like this where I ring it. But that's where I'm at. I still have some things over here that I need to cut. And a lot of these things that I just printed yesterday and cut like this, I think I want to spray them with the matte spray so that there's no glossy look to it. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but it's glossy. And then like these papers don't really have much of a gloss. You can kind of see very clear. So I'm gonna um, keep working. And I kind of like that I have this time to just put stuff up, see what I like, what I don't like, what I need to add, what I need to buy. It's nice to feel, even though it seems like a lot I still need to do, it's just nice that I don't have to rush it. Oh, and one more thing I need to do. I think if I keep these voice levels here, I'm going to turn the form, I'm gonna reprint and turn it um, the other way. Cause I don't like that these are horizontal, those are vertical. And I need to, um, 
make a classroom rules sign here and i'm probably gonna make a voice level or noise level sign here and so that might stay i just might be able to spread them out a little bit more with that gotta go all right it has been an hour since i last updated you guys so i just want to show you what i've changed up and what i've added so here i added um in our classroom it just says like we do thank yous we do real we do i'm sorry blah 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 and um, that's still the same. I just added the exit um, sign back and the fire extinguisher. Um, I'm leaving that. I did switch this up. I'm actually going to use my Cricut to create classroom roll or classroom rolls and noise levels on my Cricut. I'm leaving that. I actually added my lights and they look so good. I love it. And this is not all the lights that I'm going to have up. I'm actually going to add some stringy lights with all my greenery. So this is like the rest of the stuff, like for decor or pops of green that I have. And the lights and this. Um, and then I'm about to work on this wall. I started on the student center. I don't think this is finalized. I just kind of want to leave it here for now. But I still need to add up their affirmations. And I'm going to put a sign that says welcome or it's going to say home sweet classroom. I'm not sure what I want to go with, but... That is that. I still need to use, I want to nail these in because right now they're just on thumbtacks. And then right here is going to go, um, I'm going to put this like wire tier thing to for like apps it folders and stuff like that. All right. So I think this might conclude classroom setup day three. I am satisfied with how much I've gotten done today. I will show you guys one last time on what I've been working on. But I technically just don't have anything else to put up on the walls right now. Everything else I just need to make. And so to, I'm gonna, tonight I'm gonna make everything else that I need, hopefully buy what I need to buy. And then tomorrow when I come in, I'm putting those things up and starting to organize. So hopefully Thursday and Friday are just organizing the classroom, putting desks where they need to go, putting my desk where it needs to go, putting things in the cabinets, all that good stuff. So here is the final. It's, by the way, it's 10.33. I'm gonna get home before 12. Like I've been getting home by like two. And this is the only day I got to come and not be interrupted. The past few days I had to leave early. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. And then. Yeah. All right. Okay, so you've seen all this. This is nothing new. But what is new is this section. So I went ahead and put my name up here. Originally I had it up here, but I figured I can use this for something else, like additional math source resources instead of using a whole wall just for my name and for my stuff. But I put my name up here. We have my place value, shapes. We have 2D shapes and 3D shapes at the bottom of the boards. And we have our math practices. We have our levels of understanding, our calendar. I need to section off with some black tape and I think I'm gonna make a black tape over here for like the date and objective and things like that. But for now, I'm fine with leaving that blank. Here is my wow work for my seventh and eighth graders. I went ahead and just randomly some put up paper but obviously you can see the blue ones are for seventh and the green is for eighth. That's just to help me distinguish which work I'm gonna be putting up. Since I am teaching two grades and I'm going to be having a total of three seventh grade classes and two eighth grade classes, there's no way all the students' work is gonna be going up. So I think based off of unit or chapter, I will pick um, well-performed work and put it up for the like until the end of the chapter or the end of the next quarter or unit or whatever, I don't know. We'll see what's gonna go up, but but that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back. Today is classroom setup day four. I am headed to my room now. I feel like this day could be the last day of my setup series, um, but if needed, I do have tomorrow to get some stuff done. But my goal is to try to wrap everything up today, no later than 12, 1 o'clock. I do have um, most of the things done. I'm just adding like the decor and finalizing staples and stuff like that. But, um, and then the rest is just like kind of situating the desk and putting things where they need to be. I'm sorry if this video is a lot of repeating of the same thing. In addition to me sharing the information, I'm also trying to help myself remember everything I need to do. And it helps by just saying it over and over. <laughs> I'm exhausted already and <laughs> haven't even started, but this stuff is like fun. It's all like drilling, stapling, 
organizing and it shouldn't take me that long so i'm gonna get in bump some good music and get it out and get out so i'll see you guys there all right so it is a little after 9 30 and i just want to let you guys know i finished my walls for the most part there's a couple things i need to staple but i'm not worried about it too much um right now i'm currently sweeping the floor so i can get my furniture where it needs to go and i want to show you guys what i've done so far so i'm pretty sure this is how my wall is going to be staying um i very randomly just put things up but i kind of like it i don't really like perfection i made this yesterday home sweet classroom got these at michael's made that shirt spread the love and i created the affirmation thing on there and i spray painted all of these well, first of all i switched these up i have my classroom rules and my voice levels and i reprinted them because i needed these bolder and i needed this to have um it needed to be the same because the different font was really bothering me i spray painted all of this up here so that the gloss is no longer present like i said i need to staple all these down still i put my mirror that i got for 17 bucks at target over there and spray painted those as well um so like i said i'm just sweeping so that i can put my furniture where it belongs once once my furniture is where it needs to be then i can actually start um, putting things away in my space for like storage so i'm gonna try to get that done today so i will see you guys later okay it is 10 20 um i'm officially about like my furniture's moved i'm about to start organizing and clearing out things and putting things away so i just want to show you guys where i'm at um hopefully within the next hour i get majority of things placed where they need to be and let me go ahead and show you all right so i went ahead and did as you guys can see i don't have desk i have tables so i made groups of four so we have two tables there's four um groups in the back with two tables which would be four students if i needed to add a student here or there I, you could easily pull up a chair but just for space i went ahead and spaced them out in the front so i have four groups back here and then i have four tables up here which is two groups so just in case i ever do or when i do group work i can always pair them up so for example the tables in the front if i say okay getting pairs um getting your groups these two can um, just flip their pull their chairs around and work with those two and vice versa um and that's pretty much it i have a little table over there an extra table with three chairs for like flexible seating i know there's not that much fun seatings in here but there's a little space if someone wants to go work independently or with some of their friends. Um, I also placed two chairs back there in case anyone wants to work back there by the student station. Um, but I think I'm going to get rid of that because it's kind of just a big blob that doesn't really have a space. And so I think I want to get rid of it. If I don't get rid of it, it's going to just be like somewhere near the door and I really don't like that. I want it open. So I'll figure out what's going to happen. But for now, that's what things are looking like. Here's my desk space. So I do need to go through and organize, like I said, and clean things up. So let me get started. <laughs> All right. It is one o'clock and I am pretty much done for this year. Um, I'll show you guys kind of a quick overview of everything and what some last minute tweaks I have. But for the most part, I am done. I am completely content with leaving my classroom right now and not having to work in here until um, when we come back on campus. All right, here is the classroom. This is the lights all the way on. This is the lights with one off, the other one. But I absolutely love this. So here are some plans that I have. All right, so you see this light going around my whiteboard? I'm going to buy another one to go underneath here. This is just absolutely plain and boring. It's giving the classroom that was this was before I got in here. So to spice it up, I'm gonna put some lights here and that's gonna be it for that. This section is completely done. 
Um, I am going to add some labels here that I'm going to make tonight. Um, I need to get this removed. I have a little calming corner over here. Um, there's some stress balls. I'll do a classroom tour later. Um, my champs walls, my levels. Here's that, here's that. And I have my little carpet corner over here. I'm absolutely in love with this. Like, it's really good. And I love, I love it. I'm going to look up how to use a mailbox in middle school. I don't know if it's going to be for students or just for me, or I might just have to get rid of it. I'm not sure just yet. I don't have anywhere to store these extra rolls right now, so they're just there. Um, I have went through everything, like everything, and it feels really nice and clean. And so I just, I'm just super impressed with how much I've gotten done in four days. Um, I put my whole classroom together and I may come back tomorrow. I may not. If I don't, I'm completely fine with just staying home with my kids for the day um, and starting off and just ending my summer break. Um, just to give you a heads up, I need to put more greenery around. I have all of this still. I want to put around. Maybe I'll put some back here as well. Um, once again, I have a few little labels to just make. I'm going to relabel this little cart over here. This is just student material. I just want to improve this. The, um, the labels because they just i ripped them off of bins and i just put them here um what else i think that's really it i can't really think much of anything else but i'm extremely happy with myself and how much i've worked this summer so that's gonna be the end i will be doing a classroom tour soon um maybe tomorrow maybe i don't know i will be doing a classroom tour soon so stay tuned for that i'll see you guys next time bye Are you teaching me? Teach me the shapes, Ansem. What are they? Two, two, two. Uh huh. Two. two. Oh, I'm gonna go get two. Uh huh. Two, 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 two